no photographing from this area uh, because we are around a security installation. On your left hand side is the headquarters for the uh, uh, FBI in Ghana. Yeah, those are the headquarters. And just after that, we have the police headquarters as well. That follows it. So uh, there is no photographing there. Thank you. Um, Ghana police, they are very professional police officers. They also go on international duties, United Nations. So apart from Ghana Army, we have Ghana prisons and then Ghana police that goes on international assignments, United Nations assignments. Now, Ghana police have different departments, different departments. We have the marine departments, we have um, uh, FPC, uh, those who are in charge of routes, in case of any routes. Uh, we have another group that are in, uh, uh, only investigations. We have there's various departments in the Ghana police. So that is the headquarters of Ghana police. But before the headquarters, we have the, we call it CID, Criminal Investigation Department, that you will call FBI. That is the department here. <clears throat> There's another road that leads to the police headquarters. Um, currently, we are driving to Dr. Dobie B. Du Bois Center for Pan-Africanism. Uh, we all know Dr. Dobie B. Du Bois, and uh, he is a mentor to a lot and a lot of people. Currently, he's no more, he's one of our ancestors, but he still play a role as a advisor, a guardian, and a leader to a lot of organizations like Marcus Gavi. He was invited to the country by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah when Ghana had its independence. But he was not given a passport. Why? Because uh, they thought he was going to organize um, some radicals against the U.S. or whatsoever. Uh, later, he had a, a, a passport and he came to Ghana. And Dr. Kwame Kuma said, we are not going again. The reason why we want you is for you to uh, finish the Encyclopedia Africana. He came in with the wife, and the wife died and was cremated. We will see the wife ashes. And then you also died in Ghana. And when you go there, we will see uh, his bedroom, his house that was given to him by the states. And then also, there is a certain place that he always sits to receive visitors. He is no more, but the place is still there. As we are going, the place will also receive us. Just behind Dr. Du Bois Center, um, we have the Diaspora Forum, a very big office for all the people from in the diaspora who have come to Ghana. We we'll also see that, and then we we'll also see uh, Marcus Gavi's house or Marcus Gavi's uh, guest house. There are a lot of people who book this guest house in advance. Some people book that guest house uh, a whole year. They just want to stay there and do. Some people are there for a research. Others are there just to, uh, you know, was. Ghana, they want to move from one of one to other, uh, do one or two things in Ghana. Not only that, uh, sometimes there are other people also uh, who are researchers because that place is meant for Pan Africanism. People from all walks of life, uh, especially the Africans living in the diaspora, comes over to conduct a research. Uh, right. uh -huh. okay. 
As we get closer, you will see American embassy in Ghana. Because of where we pass, I would have shown you the ambassador's residence. Uh, you will not see the ambassador's residence, but you will see the embassy. It's a huge area. There, it was uh, President Bush who built thus was in power. The whole idea is he wanted uh, to bring some soldiers here uh, so that in case of any problem in Africa, American soldiers are here to help. But Ghanaians are very wise and fast, the head of it, and they said, no, we don't need them. We don't need them here. Yeah, on the right, please, no photographing. They have cameras around. Uh, I don't know why they said no photography. All this place belongs to American Embassy. It's a huge area. You see the police officer just walking, even without arms. We are a peaceful country. Oh. So is this the biggest embassy in Ghana? It is the biggest embassy in Africa. That's how they do it, man. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know where Bush is from, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Texas. So how do they do it in Texas? Everything is what? Everything is big. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I was there. I was like, they were for real <laughs> when I went there a few years back. Wow. Yeah. Everything in Texas is big. <laughs> it was not only uh, uh, that. And then also he wanted to use uh, 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 Africa, uh, Ghana as a military base. And then also uh, when we had oil, when he heard that Ghana have oil, he want to come over. He came over here, yeah. Came over and then uh, to talk to our uh, president if our Ghana oil will be given to him. But as the president at that time, President Thomas said, you know what? I'm uh, going to put it at the world market. Whoever will buy, will buy. So no problem. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't happy about that. But the man said it, yeah. Okay, we are the Boys Center for Pan Africanism. We are going to come down. Uh, please pick your cameras that are going to take pictures. And I'm going to go there, have a tour first before we do anything else. So let's go there and have our tour. I said, no pictures inside, but you can take pictures outside. It's a museum. Thank you so much. I get mixed Thank feelings you. every time I go in there because it's like we have a number of recordings in there. But is that the standard uh, rule now? Oh, yeah. You know, the standard, wherever you go in the whole world, museums, they don't allow to oh. take a picture. The that's whole not world. True. Yeah. That's not true. And, and that's not true. Okay, if it's a personal one, but a government owned, they will tell you no. The, no the, the, ah. the, the issues that we okay. usually have, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you the country, mm. the francophone countries. I'll, I'll give you some name examples Senegal, yeah. uh, Togo, and Benin. We've all had that issue where I'm fighting with them and I'm like, yo, I need to document what we're doing there. And they're like, no, it's not happening. Uh -huh. And then, but in Ghana and uh, go to other countries like the Gambia, they don't say flexible. anything. They say record all you want and upload it. <laughs> <laughs> Show the world. Show the world. Mar market us for free. <laughs> So family journey continues and now uh, we're about to step down of the bus and we're gonna head to uh, the WEB, the boys uh, memorial site and also museum. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.